Hi everyone, a weekly preview here. Um, it's Tuesday the 4th of November and I'm looking forward to Saturday the 9th of November. But just before I get on to um, the main event in the UK um, endurance running calendar for this coming weekend, just a mention of the National Cross Country Relays at Mansfield, which I thought were a superb event, brilliantly supported by um, so many um, good athletes, good quality at the front. I'm sure it's got, um, you know, over the last 10 years, tougher to win medals or win the events uh, at the at Mansfield. And that's all down to a lot of the lot of the top runners turning out for their clubs and creating some really cracking races. So well done, everyone. And it, it brought it home to me when Eamon Martin, the organiser, told me that um, the thousand cars um, required in the car parking book were booked and that was reached before the the day so again that shows the number of people attending when you think that's a thousand booking the you know the car parking and then you've got multiple people in a car and then you've got buses and you know mini buses on top of that um plus all the athletes it's quite quite an event so one of the best on the calendar uh short and fast cracking races you know very enjoyable so well done everyone Mansfield Harriers, English Cross Country Association, uh, Eamon Martin who headed it and, other, and others for putting that on. Um, now we come to the uh, next event in the cross country calendar which is the Cardiff Cross Challenge which takes place on Saturday. Um, it's a world, world cross country gold label event which means it attracts quite a few Europeans and African runners so won't be necessarily Brits at the front, but I'm just going to mention some of the homegrown talent that will be on display in the senior races. First prize um, in the senior races is $1,500, and there, but there is a UK prize fund. I think first prize is uh, 400 quid to the winners of the, from the, the first home from the UK. Um, it looks like it should be as it has been before on British Athletics TV YouTube channel. So look out for that. The men's race is due off at five past two and the women's race is at 12.55 p.m. The women's race is over 6,400 metres, so four miles. And the men's is over 9,600 metres. So, yeah, get on for six miles. Um on the women's side, some of the names entered, and you can find all the names entered on Open Track. Um, we've got Sarah Astin, who was in the winning Belgrave team at the weekend at Mansfield. Holly Dixon, Izzy Fry, Jess Given, Kate Axford, who was another member of that Belgrave team. Alex Bell uh, from Pudsey. I think I credited her to Leeds last week, but um, made a mistake there because she's Pudsey Athletic Club. Uh, Amelia Quirk, Poppy Tank, Gemma Steele, Neve Brown, current National Cross Country Champion, Kirsty Walker, B Wood. Um, so, you know, some good good British talent there could be competing for the, the first prize on the UK front. Then on the <clears throat> men's side, we've got uh, Ephraim Gide from Ireland. Um, we've got Zach Mohammed. Angus McMillan, who was one of the quickest runners at Mansfield at the weekend again. Uh, Jack Miller from Bristol. Jacob Can, Ocean Perrin from Wales. Jake Smith, um, still battling away to get back to his very best. And then we've got Charlie Wheeler and George Wheeler, who ran the first two legs for Milton Keynes Distance Project at uh, Mansfield, who looked looked in control. They looked like they were running really smoothly. So they looked, they looked like they're raring to go at the moment on the cross country so yeah plenty to look forward to there give an indication because two weeks later um there'll be the european trials at liverpool so a few of those people might be uh targeting that and getting used to the country before they go to liverpool for those trials that's all i've got this week there you know we've got a kent cross country league um at bexley heath danson park on saturday and I'll try and film some of the races there. But other than that, don't think there's too much going on. But I'm sure you'll correct me if um, I've got that wrong. So hope you have a good week and um, look forward to talking to you again next week.